up, everybody? It's your boy, Amasi, in the place to be, um, outside of my house here in Washington, D.C. Today we are filming an episode of Kids in the Kitchen, so I'm going to take you through the process of making an episode of a TV show. About to go get the equipment right now. All right, folks, we're here pulling up at uh, the DC TV studios. So let's go ahead and go in. Let's see what's cracking inside. Actually, we're just gonna pick up our equipment. We don't need to see what's cracking. See if they let us uh, talk to them for a second. But uh, come on, let's go inside. DC TV. See that? DC TV. What's up, everybody? It's your boy. We up inside of the um, DC TV production portion of the studio. I'm picking up my equipment. You see right here, we have the uh, batteries and. This is the camera. What I have to do is I have to go through a check to make sure that the camera, um, these are the lights. I typically get two lights, the camera. I don't bother with a tripod anymore because I typically just walk around with the camera on my shoulder. And I also have a couple of lights at home that I use. So I use their two lights plus my two lights to try to get um, you know, good lighting inside of the kitchen. But you'll see that part later. But I wanted to uh, introduce you guys to one of the workers here. Say hello, Felicia. Hi. That's Felicia. I wasn't ready yet, though, because I'm still trying to eat my carrots. Why do I have to my teeth? Uh, nah, we can't see that, though. Okay. So th this is Felicia. She's one of the um, hello, very helpful employees of DCTV. Felicia, uh, how long have you been working here at DCTV? I have been working at DCTV for five years now. Okay, okay. But you, you have a... Uh, somewhat of a background in television, right? Mm -hmm. I've been doing um, broadcast and production for over seven years. Okay, okay. How'd you, how'd you decide to get into broadcasting? Because I've always been interested in TV, putting a show together, and also I see that there's a lot of different images out there in the world that don't represent, I'll say, I'll just say don't represent black people in the way that I think that we should be represented, and also it's just also about self-expression for me. Okay, okay. So, and you went to school for this too, right? I did. I graduated from University in 2005 with a communications degree and um, emphasis in TV production. Okay, so now somebody like me who, um, you know, I didn't have a background like you did in terms of going to getting a higher education, I, I decided to go the community route and um, I got all my education here at DC TV. So, what tip or advice would you give someone like me who didn't go to school about perhaps wanting to start their own television show? Now, this is kind of like a two-part, not really okay. a two-part question, but I have like a theory about about education. Okay. I think it's important to get your education. I think it is important to go to school, have that discipline, come out with a four-year degree, or, you know, get your master's and your PhD and all that other stuff, too. However, I think there's more importance that should be placed on the actual, um, like, getting your hand, like, getting involved in the activity or in whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. So, with TV production particular you can come to a public access station and you start you take training classes because that's what we offer here we offer production um, production classes to teach you how to be an effective producer um, studio tech courses and field tech courses which the studio tech teaches you how to operate as a producer and use the equipment in the studio field tech um, like what you do is taking the camera and the lights into the field or you know to your house or wherever and producing the show that way. And it's all about repetition to me. Because all producers that come in, I'm going to say 95% of producers who come in here, their first project sucks. And I'm just going to keep it real. <laughs> it sucks. And I love to laugh. I love laughing at those projects. Those are the funniest ones. But the thing is, you learn from that. Right, so you right. do that project that one time, and you learn from that experience. And the second one may not necessarily be, you know, stellar, but at least you get better and better and better. Right. So then at some point, Know, maybe let's say 10 projects or so in or uh, 10 you know shoots that maybe when you work on with other people then you start to learn the different um, nuances of TV production and what you need and you not do to become an effective producer like yourself award winning <laughs> right 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 true indeed okay all right well well say say goodbye to the folks and you know in TV land Bye. I, there's probably only like two three people who are actually gonna see this but you know that's okay, because you know what, those two or three people will probably be the ones 
that could produce something wonderful. All right, what's up, people? We here. We're setting up. We're behind the scenes for the show. I'm about to show you. There's a lot of things going on right now. As you see right here, we got Maika going over this show with the kids. These are the kids that are going to be on the show today. Maika is going over that. As you see, I've uh, started to set up the lights. Another light. Typically, I said four earlier, but I used three really. Two front lights and one back light. As you see, we got people in there, parents, kids, babysitters. It's a lot. It's a lot that goes on during the production of a show. So this is this is really kind of the background you see there. Got a little setup for the show. We do tape. We do tape in the house, um, in the kitchen. As you see, this is the kitchen. So we keep it, we keep it home, we keep it real, we keep it live, reality TV type of thing. So as you see, this is a, a quick behind the scenes um, shot of what's going on. And like I said, it's a lot of activity. So I'll, I'll check back in with you in a few minutes as we start to settle in. And um, maybe I'll take some of the actual production also. So I'll highlight at you guys later.